Hi, I'm Professor Charlie of the McCoolike Important Institution, and today I'm going to be answering the ultimate question. Why are teenage boys the way they are? We all know that on a molecular level, little boys are made of slugs, snails, and puppy dogs' tails. But did you know that teenage boys are made of pugs, nails, and marmites? In fact, Teenage boys contain more Marmites than any other demographic. One of the interesting facts about teenage boys is that over the years they've evolved their own language. Known to language experts as conversial gruntism, you probably know it by its mainstream name, grunting. Here are a few examples of the language. <laughs> Little boys and little girls all enjoy jokes about poo-poo, but why? Well, there's a little cockroach that lives inside the brain of all children that gets its sustenance from the energy given off when a child experiences a poo-poo joke. When a little girl reaches 13, the cockroach falls out of her nose and she grows up, but in little boys, the cockroach stays there until they reach adulthood. Which is why you'll find teenage boys, and sometimes even grown men, finding the urge to laugh at a simple joke about poo-poo. One of the more recent discoveries regarding teenage boys is the trend to wear your trousers very, very low around your waist. Scientists have been wrestling with the cause of this for years, but some philosophers believe that teenage boys do it because of something that they refer to as cool. Personally, I feel as though the impracticalities of wearing your trousers so low around your waist must undoubtedly outweigh any kind of cool factor. But one thing we know for certain is that it looks Really, really stupid. Sit across at a table from a teenage boy and watch him eat. What on earth is he eating? Teenage boys have very strange eating habits, but why? Well, if you take a closer look into the mouth of the teenage boy, you will notice that they don't actually have a tongue. Nowadays, prosthetic tongues are all the rage, but as real as they may look and feel, they still can't taste. So if you ever see a teenage boy shoveling a mixture of pizza, ice cream and dirt into his mouth, you'll know why. He just can't taste it. Pooey, what's that smell? Uh, I don't want to have a shower. Well, it's the distinctive whiff of a teenage boy who hasn't washed for three years. As we previously mentioned, a large proportion of the teenage boy is made up of Marmite. And we all know what happens when you put Marmite in water. The only way that teenage boys can clean themselves is by rubbing butter into their skin, cancelling out the surface marmite, which is what gives teenage boys that distinctive buttery smell. And finally, one of the most frequently asked questions about teenage boys is how do you get them to like you? And the answer is, of course, you don't. Don't try anything. Just be yourself. The best teenage boys are going to be the ones that like you for who you are. Or, buy them excessively baggy pairs of jeans, tell them a bunch of poo-poo jokes, only ever communicate using grunting, rip your tongue out and rub butter into your skin. And that's how you get teenage boys to love you. Fact. You've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool. <laughs>